An oscilloscope is a great tool for debugging and better understand what's going on with your circuits. Unlike a multimeter that only shows the voltage at a specific moment, with an oscilloscope you can see what's happening with the voltage over time. Today we're going to take a look at the Antec DSO5102P Digital Storage Oscilloscope. This is an entry-level oscilloscope great for students, beginners and DIYers. This equipment was kindly sent to review from Banggood and at the time of this review, this oscilloscope costs approximately $300. You can find a link to the product page in the video description. So let's take a look at the oscilloscope. The oscilloscope was badly packed. It came inside a cardboard box with two thin pieces of foam packaging. Fortunately, the scope came in very good condition with all the accessories and nothing was broken. The content includes the power supply, two probes, the instructions manual, USB cable and the CD with software to control the scope using your computer. I'm very impressed with this scope because the material and the build quality are really good and it looks even better than the online photos. I also like the fact that it features a wide 7 inch color display, which is great to better analyze your wave signals and navigate through the menus and adjust the settings. When it comes to the scope specifications, they are fairly good for an entry level scope. It has a 100 MHz bandwidth, a sample rate of 1 GHz samples per second, record length up to 40K and its dual channel. This scope comes with all the necessary functions that you would expect in an oscilloscope, vertical and horizontal alignment, scale adjustment, trigger and many other useful buttons to use other functions. The scope is very easy to set up and the menus are intuitive to use, which is perfect for beginners. Measuring your signal's properties is also very easy. For example, press the measure button to check the frequency, period, mean, peak-to-peak -peak voltage and much more. Additionally, you can use the cursors to measure specific time or voltage intervals. As with most oscilloscopes, it comes with a 1 kHz square wave probe, so that you can quickly test and calibrate your scope. You can read two different channels at the same time and perform math calculations with the signals, and even apply the fast Fourier transform algorithm. If you need to save signals and the corresponding measurements, you can easily take a print screen and save it on a USB drive by pressing the Save to USB button. In my opinion, this is a great bench oscilloscope, for a very reasonable price, with all the needed functions you would expect on a digital storage oscilloscope, within this price range. So, if you are looking for an entry-level bench oscilloscope, this is definitely a good choice when it comes to price-quality ratio. However, if you need more channels, or a larger bandwidth, you'll have to look to a slightly more expensive solution. On the other hand, if a lower bandwidth fulfills your needs, you can find a cheaper one. For example, there's a version of this scope with 70 MHz bandwidth at a lower price. If you can't afford the bench oscilloscope, or you're not sure whether you really need a scope, there are cheaper options to analyze your circuits. For example, you can use a USB oscilloscope or a DIY oscilloscope kit. To wrap up, in my opinion the DSO5102P oscilloscope comes with everything that you'd expect in a scope with this price range. I hope you found this review useful. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.